What is EBITDA and why does it matter? There's more to your practice's value than revenues and assets. This includes EBITDA, which stands for earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization. Considering these factors may paint a clear picture about your practice's profitability. Here's a simplified example. Imagine two practices with similar financial performance, but one has been in business a lot longer than the other, so its assets have depreciated. The newer practice, on the other hand, has newer assets and therefore more potential for tax savings via bonus depreciation. However, that older practice has probably paid off long-term business debt, such as commercial building mortgage or large equipment purchases. A much newer practice often carries these burdens, which means added payments and interest as well as a higher debt ratio. EBITDA removes the interest expense and depreciation expense in this case so you can better compare the profitability of the two practices. The higher your EBITDA, the better. A good EBITDA varies based on your practice specialty and where you are geographically. The MGMA's Provider Compensation and Production Report provides compensation and productivity averages by percentile based on these factors. Here are a few tips to increase your EBITDA. Reduce no-shows, which result in lost income. Make sure your staff is calling patients ahead of time to remind them about appointments, or you are using technology that does this for you. Scrutinize your upfront billing processes. Do you collect deductibles and co-pays when services are rendered? Are you pre-authorizing with insurance companies to make sure you know what you should be paid? Code promptly for all visits and procedures performed, and for the level at which they're performed. Consider increasing your fees and negotiating a higher fee schedule. While Medicare has a fixed fee schedule, insurance company schedules are often negotiable. Look at your overhead costs to see if certain staff, supplies, and discretionary expenses can be trimmed. And make sure all employees are helping increase your bottom line. If someone's function isn't justifying the cost to have them there, it's time to take a closer look at what they do and if they're the right person on the bus. EBITDA encompasses a wide range of complex financial factors, so check with your healthcare CPA to make sure yours is at a good level.